Hey guys, welcome back. It's Deborah again. Today I'm going to be talking about two different ways to produce a similar result. So one is an expensive way and the other way is a cheaper way. So I've got my stamps and we're going to start with the expensive way. These are Tim Holtz um, ticket booth. So there's the number if you're looking for them. And I also have the die cuts which go with these, but I'm not going to use the die cuts today. I just wanted to keep it simple. And you don't need a stamp platform, but I love my Tim Holtz stamp platform and I bought a little cover for it as well. So I just got these from Officeworks. They're very cute and I thought I'd see how I go. I could make these, but these are already reinforced, so that's why I bought them. Um, so I just wanted to see sort of what's going to fit on here. So obviously some of these larger ones are not going to fit on a little stamp like this. But let's try this one here. So I think that's going to fit. I'm going to pop that down in the bottom. Put my stamp on where I want it. So it's in the centre. I'm only going to put a magnet on there. And again, you don't need to even use a stamp platform for this. It's just if you uh, want the image and, uh, to be as dark as what you wanted, a stamp platform will help with that because you can just keep on doing it. So there it is there, but I'm gonna do it again. And I have a little tag with the image stamped on it. Part two of the tea break video today is to show you that you can achieve a similar thing just by collecting up all the business stamps you can find. Now most of these came out of my house but if you don't have business stamps in your house just ask your family and friends if they've got any old ones. I mean a lot of the things will be out of date particularly I don't have one here at the moment but particularly if you've got a date stamp they usually um, have an end date. This is a, a current one, but a lot of stamps will, would have run out, like they'll only be for a span of so many years. So you can just get those and just ask your family and friends to get what they can for you. So we're gonna start out with a little paid stamp. The other beauty of some of these stamps, these ones here that have got a black bar on them, is that you can re-ink them. And I've actually re-inked a few of these yesterday. And where's this one here? This might be a bit, that's a bit big. So let's go for this one. This one says superseded and it's in a nice red. These ones do run out of ink eventually. They're only a, um, one of, you can't re-ink these ones, but this has still got some ink in it enough to warrant me keeping it and using it. And then this one here is a paid stamp. So it's got a date on it, this one. I'm not sure what the date is, so we'll have a go. There you go, so that's one of the ones I've re-inked. But you can make it in the past. I'm not sure where this one starts from. To do that, you just hold the clip so that it won't pop up again. And then you can spin it around. And that's August. Let me see if we can spin this. 17, so it should go back quite a bit, I think. 16. Anyway, you get the idea. You can spin the dates around to whatever month or day you want. Then um, what's next? This one here. So this one here is a number stamp from 1 to 6. So you can have a variety of numbers. And again, it's one of the push down ones and it's got the re-inker in it. I'm not sure which way up this one goes. Well, there you go. So that one there, and I can put, spin some more numbers on here and see what I come up with. So it's actually on the back of it that you're looking at your numbers, so you can work out what numbers you want on here. Just spin some around. There was nothing in the middle. In fact, I might leave that as a little uh, dash. I'll put a number on the end here, see what that's like, and then I'll do it on here. Oh, it's upside down, but never mind. And it hasn't quite stamped clearly because of the thing, but still that's, you know, that's got that grungy sort of look, so it doesn't really matter. 
Let's see if we can, I think this up the right way. Yep, that one's up the right way. So you can get a stamp like that. I think I have another one of those here. Oh, no, maybe not. I thought I had two of those. I oh, know that's the paid one. This here is a longer stamp. So this one is a lengthways stamp, although you could use it the other way. There you go. It's quite heavy because I've just re-inked this yesterday. So that's going to fade over time. I also have this one. This is uh, actually a stamp that belonged to my parents. And I just thought that I would show you that you can use anything. This is the stamp that they used to use on their check account. So a lot of sentiment there for me now that they've both passed. So don't forget things like that that you can use in your personal journals. Here we have one which is a reference and page off so that'd be a good one to use in your journals and you can just tie it on with a tag and then this one here which is a long one so this one is again probably too long for this but I'll turn it on an angle just to show you and it's also a bit faded that one but it's got the reference and the job numbers on it as well and so there you go that's just a little tip that if you don't want to fork out money for a lot of number stamps or you can't afford to fork it out or you just don't feel like it's justifiable because you won't use it very much then just go around and gather up all the old stamps from businesses or your family and that's all I've got for you today so this is Deborah thanks for joining me for tea break cheers